So there are a lot of ways to make money these days. Some jobs you may not have thought of. I don't know, like professional bridesmaid, water slide tester, master marijuana extractor. But have you ever stopped, looked to the sky and wondered, whose job is it to fly those banner ads? Okay, so imagine this is your view at work. And you don't even have to beg for a window office. That's what I always say, like we have the best office view you could have, just flying down the beach at 500 feet all day. It's pretty tough to beat. The scenery, spectacular, but like any job, it's not all glitz and glamor for a banner pilot. Back here on the ground at this small public airport in Oceanside, you'll find three young gentlemen pushing a 1,200 pound plane and, well, striking a pose. How would you introduce yourself to me? I'd say my name is Ryan Melendez. I, uh, I tow the big rags you see going across the beach uh, in San Diego. You're the one that makes us go, ooh, what does that say? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yep, Ryan and his buddies, Josh and Jared, are not only responsible for that kink in your neck, but also for those aerial ads. They work for Fly Sky Ads, a company based out of New Jersey, but with a little help from Ryan, just recently touched down in San Diego. I flew two of these super cabs from New Jersey to California, which was a 33-hour flight, five days. And what experience did you need for that, Ryan? Banner towing is typically a low time pilot job. Typically, you just need to have your commercial license, which you get at 250 hours. Okay, that seems very impressive. Wait, how old are you? 23. Wow. Clear prop. This is our 180 horsepower Super Cub, Cubby, as we call it. It was built in 1954, I believe. And this airplane has the two main gear in the front and then the wheel in the back. So this is called a tailwheel aircraft or a conventional gear. This is how airplanes were originally made. It's tiny. It's yeah, it's it's not the biggest thing in the world, but uh, it's got a lot of power to pull those uh, big old rags we tow in the air. Turns out Ryan grew up around planes, and no, not the toy model ones. My dad actually used to fly with David Crosby from Crosby, Sills & Nash when I was a baby, and we had a Cessna 182. Yeah, that's actually musician David Crosby holding baby Ryan. I mean, it makes sense Ryan would have a love of flying, but there was actually something else that gave him that final push toward piloting. In 2015, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I'm going into my senior year of high school. So while Ryan was in the ICU, he says he made a decision. After I got diagnosed, I said, you know what? There's no better time than now to learn. So two months after I was diagnosed, I took my first flight lesson. And it was that day, actually, the doctors called and said that I'd gone into uh, remission, but I still had three years of treatment after that. But on to brighter skies. Ryan was able to buy his first airplane, which he named Snoopy. And now he's healthy and says fighting cancer has helped him live a life with a little less fear. It's definitely a, a risky job. We're flying at 500 feet all day um, at a very slow airspeed. For us, it's just the thrill of getting to do what we love, which is fly. But it's not just controlling the plane. Ryan and these pilots also have to build the banners. And since I know you're wondering the same thing, I'm going to go ahead and ask, what are the weirdest banners that you've towed? We've had things from an OnlyFans banner, someone uh, telling their friend, I'm sorry I lost your frog, people asking to get their girlfriends back, and uh, it's just whatever you can think of, I mean, we've probably towed it. Oh my gosh. I wanted to experience just a little part of Ryan's workday, cramped office and all, so I decided to hop on board his cubby there you go. and finally oh. get my own window that. view. You're a banner tow pilot now. Yeah. What are our call signs? Milky. Milky? Uh, Milky and Aviator. Milky and Aviator, ready to go. <laughs> Alrighty. above San Diego, Ryan and I had a heart-to-heart, -heart, 
but considering we were 500 feet above the ground, our audio stopped working. So that conversation is gonna stay private. But I will tell you this, Ryan says flying helps him feel a little bit freer from all of life's problems. Plus, he gets paid to help share your messages. Oh, huh, huh. how did that get there? Huh. Weird.